Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about today is the bullet break on an external horn Victor, which looks like this. What happens is we have the piece in the middle that holds the leather that stops the turntable. But in the middle of it, this is the shaft that runs through the bullet brake. And there's a little pin right here. And as you can see, there's not much material on either side of that hole. So if you pull this apart to clean it, get rid of the rust, you had to take the pin out to get there. So if you put the pin back in and it's loose, you can pair, take a pair of pliers like this, these needle nose with the cutting dikes on it, and you can hold it down and put a couple of little marks on it. Oh, what's that stick? Well, this is just a piece of steel I'm showing you that you can, oh. you don't want to cut all the way through, but what that does is it mushrooms the steel. So you're going to cut it on that thing? No, no, I'm going to cut it on this right here. I'll use this old pin. You take the old pin, and you mushroom it, but you have to be very careful. Then that is going to go into the hole, and it's going to expand to hold it in place, because sometimes you, put the, you get the pins, and the pins are doing this. They're wobbling. What I do, because there's no material on each side to build a dr drill a bigger hole, I use a tapered pin. But I modify, I push this in here, then I cut the big end down to where it barely fits into the hole. Then I reverse it because I'm going to shove it through that end and tap it down like I've done this one. Now I have to do is cut this, trim it down to fit, and you can see here how much longer. The other thing I did. So you can see that I'd, I've done the gun bluing on the steel. I gun blued this piece to stop the rust, like I've done on the end of some cranks. These bullet brakes, this shaft rusts out because there's hand sweat on them all the time, and we're talking over 100 years old, 120 years old. And you have to repair this. You just can't throw a new piece of leather in there and hope for the best. It all has to be cleaned, you know, taken care of, you know, and this is my tip for the day.